Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. Or we can just kind of like, I, I might actually start making another field. Because I was thinking of doing this field here. We could get this field going. And then I'll worry about doing more fields maybe next year. We'll have to see. Because I, I would... There's one thing that people have said. You're really enjoying the series, but you would like me to kind of move along a little bit now. I've, I've done a lot of exploration of what we've got to offer here. Uh, yes, I want to sell that one. Um, but I'm also... Things have been taking a while, right? We've been taking a while to get things done. So what I'm going to do in order to just speed some of this up a little bit... Uh, well, first up... I'm going to go this way. Just going to check on this one. Right, that's doing a great job. Yes, we're going to have to do a little bit of tidy up, but that's this almost finished now. So we'll leave that one going. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here. And to make life a little bit easier for us, I'm going to reset them to the shop like that. Rather than driving through and getting them, I'll just reset them to the shop like that. So there's that one reset. Okay, and... Right, the difficult bit is going to be finding the hay turner. So I need to go through these like this. Definitely not the barrel weights that we want. Uh, pallet fork, baler up there. No, I don't want that trailer. It doesn't seem to go in any particular order either. I'm after the hay turner. The rest of the stuff, we there we go. That one right there. Resets. Yes. Okay, so I've now reset those, which means that... I can go here, and I can take these three machines. The reason that I want them here at the shop in order to be able to sell them is purely so that we get maximum amount, uh, maximum amount of money being returned. That's why I want to do it like this. So I'll just put that one there, and I will sell that one. There we go. Sell you. Yes, that's 100,000 euros right there. This also means that I might be able to go and buy a new cattle pen sooner rather than later. Um, and I'm also thinking that that's something that I'd like to do through the winter. So I know that I have said that I want you to comment in the description down below about whether or not you think I should be using the Stevie modified versions of the animal pens. Because those Stevie modified versions, right, that's been sold for 14 grand. Uh, the Stevie modified versions allow for more animals. There's no other changes to them. It's just that you can fit more animals in a pen. And I'm not actually planning to go and stuff a load more cows in it. It just means that we can keep the number of cows that we've got. And the calves, when they're born, they're not all going to despawn. And what I'm kind of thinking is it running two separate ones. We have one where the cows are calving. And then we have one where we have the, the calves. Right, sell that one as well. That's done. So we've got 200,000 euros. The one where the cows are calving, that will be... Uh, we'll have, say, 200 cows in there. You know, I'm going to cut back across the field. We have, say, 200 cows in the field where... In the pen where they're calving. And then once they've calved, once they've stayed with the cows and the calves are a month old, something like that, then we'll move them into a separate pen. I mean, you, very often you'll move them when they're a week old. And you put them in a neighbouring pen and then you give them a set measured amount of milk each day. Because a dairy cow will produce far more than one calf will ever consume. Um, so you give the calves a little bit of the milk. And well, it depends on the farm actually. Some farms will keep all of the milk from the cows. And they will actually buy in um, powdered milk for the calves. And it's a carefully balanced powdered milk that they will make up. And it's, um, so it, it, it's carefully, like, it's nutritionally balanced, especially for the calves. You know, much like the stuff that comes straight out of the cow. However, um, the sort of, the, what I always think is a little bit funny is the fact that buying the formula milk for the calves is actually cheaper than giving them the milk from the cows it's themselves, or it certainly used to be. Uh, you would buy the formula milk and you give that to the calves and you would get more per litre for the milk that you sell than you would pay out for the milk that you're buying in to feed the calves. Um, so it's, it's kind of a win-win, really. And because 
not many farmers are going to go buying in formula milk to feed their calves if the milk that is coming out of the cows themselves is cheaper. Right? There's not many farmers that are going to go selling the cheaper stuff and buying in more expensive stuff. Because, like, you know, the, the, the milk for the cows themselves is, is, is pretty good stuff. Right? It, it, funnily enough, and this may seem strange, but it is actually designed especially for the calves to drink that stuff that comes out of the cow. I know that might seem a little bit of an, uh, you know, a little bit strange, but yeah, I, I know. I was as shocked as what I can sense that some of you are. The milk that comes out of the cows is actually specially designed for cows to drink. Um, but yeah, so if we, were to, if we were to say hold the calves in the pen until they reach a month old, so I don't know, uh, well... Yeah, point 0.1 of a year old or something like that. And then we'll move them over into the other pen. And the other pen, there won't be milking cows in there. We'll just be fattening up the calves ready to sell. And I don't know how long the game takes to do that. In real life, uh, beef animals, you normally sell them at around about uh, 30 months. That's when they've reached uh, the appropriate kill weight. And so 30 months, that's two and a half years. So I don't know if the game is going to have us keeping the cows for two and a half years before we're able to sell them. But it's going to be interesting to find out. And that's why I'd like a Stevie pen. That's why I'm thinking it would be a good idea. Because we can keep our 200 milking cows and we can milk 200 cows. And then the calves that are coming off them, they go into the other pen. And if we are keeping them for a full two and a half years, we're going to end up with um, possibly filling up a good chunk of another 400 cow capacity in the other pen um, before we've got any that are actually ready to be sold. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see how that works out. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm thinking this could be actually quite a good thing if we can do it like this. And uh, I'm really liking this idea. And now that we've got 200,000 euros sat right there waiting to be spent, I might do it. If the feedback is that you really don't like the idea of the larger pens, then I can always change those around later. Because um, many of you know right now it's coming up to Christmas. So I'm getting ahead on my recording. So by the time you see this one that I'm recording right now, it's going to be a little bit later on. All right, by the time you see this one, actually, what are we at the moment? Um, you will see this. This possibly could be around Christmas time. Right, you could be watching this at about Christmas Day or maybe just after. I, I don't know yet, but you could be. So if you are, I'm not actually going to be able to action anything you say until the new year. I won't be able to do anything about it. You, you say it because I won't be recording over the Christmas period. I'm getting ahead on all of my recordings so that I can have a bit of time off at Christmas and spend a bit of time with my family. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to have to sort of guess this one a little bit. I'm going to have to feel... I'm, I'm saying put your, your comments into the comment section. I can always go and change things around afterwards. And if, if people really don't like how I've kind of guessed what I think you might go for. I'm getting a feel for what you want in this series. You don't want anything that's too stupidly unrealistic. Uh, but you still want large scale. And I'm thinking these Stevie pens are not stupidly unrealistic in any way. They're large scale, but they're not stupid unrealistic. And I, I kind of like that. That's, that's the, uh, so it's it's a, a good balance, I feel. It, and it does seem to work. Now, the next thing that I want to do... We've got the combines here. Uh, I've got the, the combine head. Actually, I'll tell you what. One thing with that combine... I'm going to go here. Oh, I don't need to start you up at all. I can just leave you there, but... I want to unhitch that one because I noticed when we had it hitched on last time, it did slide around a bit. And I'm wondering if that was because it was attached to the combine. It looks like it may have slid around a little bit now, although that could have just been my driving. We'll have to wait and see. Um, now, this one... I've got more work that I want to do with this one, so we're going to bring this one just through the yard and we're going to put it out the other side. Now, I did ask you previously about what size silos people wanted, and I have now got some feedback on that. And it seemed to be split fairly evenly between some of you wanting the 1 million litre silos on, these map, on this map, and some of you wanting me to stick with silo sizes that are a little bit more realistic than a million litres apiece. Now, we've got in silos in here, 
I've got a few different options. I've got that farm silo there, which is half a million. Um, and that one there, which is a quarter of a million. And then the multi-fruits placeable is also half a million. That one's a quarter of it, so it's not... Oh, where's, where's the, the big one then? Ah, it was these. It was these West Deal ones. That one's 100,000. That one's half a million. And that one's a million. And a number of you said you didn't like the idea of going a full million. Some of you said, yes, go with the million. But I got more of you saying don't go with the full million one. So I'm going to avoid using a million litre silo extension. I'm going to use the base game ones. We're going to go halfway between. And we're going to use these silo extensions here at quarter of a million each. I think those will actually work all right. Now, this one here, I can just put in the base game grains that we've got here on this map. This one allows for a lot more stuff to be stored, including straw, hay, and grass. Now, I don't know about storing loose uh, straw. I've got nowhere to store loose straw at the moment. Once we get rid of this cattle pen, we will be able to move our silos around a little bit. But I kind of like having this one right here. That does seem to fit right there. Uh, so we, chances are we may not need any more silo. I'm, I'm up to 440,000. So it'll be one more. We'll go with those quarter million ones rather than full million litres. Um, but as far as storing straw, that's where it gets a little bit more difficult. And at the moment, we've also got hay, but the hay storage that we've got doesn't show up on here. So just, yeah, it, it, that, that one doesn't show up. So you've got to look at that one individually. Uh, oop. There we go. Right, I'm not drifting anymore. Global company in here. The hay dryer only takes grass and it dries it. And this is my version of it, or the, the, the modified one, so that it doesn't. you don't have to feed wood chips into it. We've got the fermenting silo there, which we can use for making silage. So I don't need to do another clamp after this. And I will probably use that rather than doing the clamp one. And then we've got the cow feed mixer here, which everybody said that I should be using. You all like the idea of me using that one. The seed maker one, I'm not going to be making seed this time. But several of you said that you like the idea of my next series being making everything that we want so there are load there are other global company mods that we'll be able to use um and quite a number of you said that you wanted me to be making everything that we're going to use on the map be completely 100 percent self-sufficient so i will look at doing that and that's bale cell placeable bale cell points there we've got oranges we've got orchards and stuff um Manure imports and exports. Just looking around to see what sort of things that we've got available that I may have overlooked. We've got greenhouses, but I didn't want to use greenhouses on this series because it's kind of a... Um, it's a bit of a fuss to keep sort of um, messing around with those all the time. So that's uh, why I didn't really want to mess around with those. And Right, so there's nothing there uh, that I want in that lot. The global company basic ones we've got in here... Animal pens, silos, shit, yeah. There's not a lot else here, really. And then you just got some different sorts of sheds. Okay, I'm just going to leave them. Right. So, straw storage. That was, that was the only other thing that I was looking at. So I knew there was something else that I wanted to look at. The hayloft here does a quarter of a million. So, we can store a quarter of a million litres of straw in the base game hayloft. And that's all we, or we go with the farm silo multi-fruits placeable, where I can tip stuff into that one. Silo extension multi-fruits placeable. I think I will have to actually use that one and put that one down to be able to store straw. And that would work quite well, actually, because obviously with, in real life, you wouldn't just be able to go and put loose straw into a grid like that, that you pour in a grain into. So... What I'm thinking is that once this cattle pen is removed, we put one of those down. And instead of then, we're not going to be tipping straw into here. That wouldn't happen. Grain would go in here as normal. But the straw, and for storing the straw, that would go into the one over there. And that would be a separate grid. So it's, it, you know, we can just say, well, it's not actually a grid. It's a different intake. And so we can store the straw in there. I like the idea of doing that. I think that would work fairly well. 
Uh, we'll, we'll obviously we'll have to sort of wait and see and, and just see how well that all pans out. But I think that that could be a good thing. Now I'm going to skip along over here. Actually, let me go animals over here. Chickens are absolutely fine. No issues there with chickens. I got a load of chickens here at two kilos apiece. I have got a boatload of chickens. There I got a load at three kilos. And here I got a load at one kilo each. And then we're into the cattle. I've got enough food in the cows to last overnight. So that's that's all good. And the horses are at 63%. Oats are down a little bit. They've got no straw in there. I don't know if I need to be putting straw in for them. And then our cows, they've got no straw again. And these are down... I think they went down to 65 because we ran out of food at one point, didn't we? But they've got half a thing of food, so they'll be fine. So I'm just going to speed time up to 120 times speed. And we go over here. One million liters of hay in that storage there. So yes, that's not particularly realistic, having a million liters of hay all in one thing. But we'll live with it. You know, some things I don't mind being a little bit unrealistic. You know, we're being sort of... Artistic license. That's that's what we're going to call it, is artistic license. If we can call it artistic license, that's absolutely fine. Now, I want to be heading over this way. We will take out the tractor and the plow again in the morning. We'll head over to the big field and we'll tidy up the bit on the edge of the field that we need to tidy up. And... I keep pressing M for map. I really want to press M for map. I always want to press M for map on here. So yeah, we just want to tidy up that edge just a little bit so that we've got that looking a little bit better. We've now got a new field over here, freshly plowed up. And I'm wanting to plow up a field here. So that one is freshly plowed up. That's going to need to be plowed, ready for our next crop to go in there as well. It's half past seven. I'm going to go to sleep now. And then we can get the plow go. We'll take the plow over to the big field in the morning. And then we've got one more field, which is the one next to the shop, which I'd like to plow up and get that one done. Why aren't you? Doesn't. I'm pressing R. Ah, there we go. Right. I'm slightly in the wrong place. So I'll sleep a full 14 hours. A good long rest. There we go. We got 14 grand coming in from the livery stable. That's not too bad. That's not too shabby. I like that. 14,000 euros is pretty sweet, actually. So that's not a bad little deal. And I go into... Let's go to the animals a second. So chickens are looking good. We're looking pretty good with the chickens. These are 0.3 years old. Right there. Those are three kilos. There. They're, they're a year old. Next animal in zero years. And I've got 3,500 litres of eggs. Then we go down to the cows. We're nearly out of hay. We're halfway through on the water. Their condition is slowly starting to climb back up again, but it's going to take a minute or two. Their condition is coming up, and they could also... Actually, they could do the little bit of oats. Have we got oats? Have we got any left? I have... I've only got 3,000 litres of oats left. That's not very much. Right, let's uh, just slow that down to, say, five times a minute. And I want to go control... No, I don't want to go control S. I want to... Uh, Alt, Alt S. To go into here, we want to do Alt S, just like that. And then I want to have a look at my uh, rotation planner for a start. Barley, canola, oat, canola, wheat, soybean is the one I've got on the first rotation planner. Then I've got grass, two harvests of corn one after the other, and there's two harvests of grass one after the other. And then we've got plain grass fields. So I've done barley. Canola is the next one to be planted in the big field. So we're not getting oats this year, or next year. Corn, we've done one. We need to do another thing of corn, but you've got to plough after corn. So I've got to go and plough up the field four before we plant another field of corn in there. And I'm going to be doing the field over by the shop. And I'm thinking that we might put oats in that one, and we'll start that one a year later. Although then that means that we'll be getting oats again. Yes, we will, because then we'll have some oats ready for the horses. So we'll put oats in that one over there. I think that'll work out quite nicely. Right, I want to go to you. 
So I've got various different plans for various different things. I want to have a loading wagon that will just be dedicated to uh, moving hay around in our yard. So it's just going to be hay. We're not going to be doing anything else with the loading wagon. It will have loose hay in it, which means that we'll have to make sure that we keep... Well, actually, once it's used the hay, I can always just put the hay back into storage. I suppose I don't... Well, okay. Now that I've thought about it, I don't need to have separate loading wagons for each one because I don't need to be filling them back up again and then emptying them. I want one that's going to be TMR, and I don't know if I can put the TMR back into the TMR mixer. That's one thing I'm not sure about. So if I can't put the TMR back into the mixer, then I am going to want one loading wagon that's dedicated to that. Although uh, the feeding, we'll, we'll probably want just a, a regular feeding wagon for that. Although I don't need it. No, I see, that's the thing. I don't need a feeding wagon. If I've got something like that, I don't actually need a specialist feeder wagon. I can just have a trailer and tip the stuff in. So we are... We, why won't you pick... It's, lo, it's down low to the ground. It's just refusing to pick it up. Right, I have now picked it up. We're making some progress. We're getting there, slowly. So I'll tip that silage in there. And we'll go to the cows. I need to... We'll do water for all of them. There's a little bit of hay and silage in for those. Let me run over here and do the water for the chickens. Then we'll go back and we'll do the water for the cows. So there's the water for the chickens. And we're going to do the water for the cows. We'll need to put, I'd say, two bales in for the... We'll, we'll get... Let's have a look. We'll get three bales, minimum. Because the horses are going to take a little bit. Not a great... The horses won't take a great deal, but they will take a bit. I'll do that there. And... And then move on again. Right, I've got it five times speed at the moment. To, yeah, it can stay on five times speed. I still want to do a little bit of ploughing out in the field. So there's still a little bit of work that I want to do there. Before I take the bucket off, I will get the oats for the horses. Like that. Uh, wheat, barley, oat. There we go. Just stop. I don't need very much of this. Just enough to make the horses fed. Which is definitely... I'm, not, I'm definitely not even going to use all of this amount. I just want a small quantity of oats to go in here. Bring that back round here. One thing that does frustrate me with tipping stuff out of the bucket is that as soon as the pen is full, if I've got the end of the bucket over the bit in front of the pen, it tips it out into a great big heap right there. So you sort of lose that little bit with the trigger. Oh. Okay, I wasn't expecting to put all of that in there. That surprised me. It's filled it up, mind. Right, we're now 4,200 litres of oats. So, yeah, we definitely want a field of oats. And that's going to be the field right in front of us over there next to the shop. That's where that one's going to be. That one right there. We will plough that one up. And that's going to be oats this year. Start that one up. And then you, we can take you now over. We'll take this bucket off. We will put on the... Um, the, 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 what do you call the thingamajig, the bale spike, and we will run round and we will put some hay in. Now, I've got all of these bales of straw. I need to do something with them. But I'm not putting straw in for animals until, I mean, I'm going to swing this one around here and take it from this side. I'm not putting straw in for animals until we've got some loose straw available. I don't really want to be messing around with one of those, um, straw blowers. They're they're great and all the straw blowers, but they are a bit of a nuisance. They are a time-consuming pain to go and use, and this... I don't think they're best suited to this series. I think this series is better suited to something a little bit different for that. Alright, I'll bring you in over this way. The TMR storage plate, the, the whole TMR thing, I'm wondering if... We're going to be, like, if I load a load of TMR into a mixer, in, not into a mixer wagon, into a forage wagon. I'll get a big forage wagon for that, because we're no doubt going to be moving quite a large quantity of the stuff around. Um, if I load up a load of that stuff, let's do that a minute. So I've got 24,000 litres of hay. Load up a load into it, and into a forage wagon, and then take it over and use up what I can in the cows. Am I going to be able to put any back? I don't think I can. I don't think that works. Right, that's... 
gone to 8,000. And now I put those spikes back in. And you can see that I've used up a little bit of hay for the horses. So they've got everything they need. Oats, hay, and water. We don't have to put straw in for them. I don't think we do. But, I, I mean, I think they might be losing a little bit of condition because we don't have straw. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Now I bring this over here. And we drop the hay in for these. So I take that off. And that will put two of the bales in. And then I tip this one in like that and there's the third bale gone in and how are we looking oh i forgot to do the wheat for the chickens right i have to go and put the bucket back on and i want one more bale one more bale to go in for the cows just to top that one up properly and then i will change over again put the bucket on and top the chickens right up with food that's all of the animals done in the yard then we can get out and the first thing i'm going to want to do is sort out the fields yeah, I was, I, was, hang on, I was just thinking, the bale of straw, I can't just go and put that in loose for the horses. That doesn't work like that. You're not able to just drop it in loose, are you? Um, so, yeah, we, 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 we want to go out to the big field and we want to sort that out. And then I want to get the plough going on the field next to the dealership so that we can get that one marked out. As soon as I've got the plough going over there, we'll start fast-forwarding time again. We are on late autumn at the moment. There's another bale gone in. And let's have a look. That's much better. Right, 36,000 litres of hay in there, just about. That's going to keep them going nicely. We've also got a little bit of grass that's left over from the grass that grows in the pen that they have. So they've also got that as well to tide them over, should we run out of a little bit of the other. Bring you and drop you down there like that. And then I can get the bucket on and I can go and get the wheat for the chickens. Or the barley, actually. The barley that we're going to be feeding them. And put that in for them. And then on with the ploughing. Uh, the other thing that I'm wondering is... I, I've, I've said that I'm only going to do the one pen at the moment. Uh, the one pen, the, the one field. Yeah, I haven't got any wheat now, have I? Um, but... I'm wondering if I should do another field. Whether I should get another one going as well. I've got the one next to the shop that I want to do. But whether I should create another field somewhere so that we've got like a few different crops to deal with. I'm not sure. I, I don't think we will this time round. I don't think we will this time. But we, we might actually do that next time. Uh, I think that could be an interesting little exercise to try and pull off. If we can. There's no, there's no guarantee that it's going to work. But we might be able to do it. There, chickens have now got all of their food. Cows have now got all of their food. And horses have got all of their food. Horses... Wow, that one's at 56. Why are some of these so low? Oh, it's riding percentage, I suppose. But oats and hay, they, they don't have to have... Oh, straw for clean bedding and water and food to stay healthy. Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, horses actually require straw to maximise productivity. That I'm not certain of. I have to try and find out at some point. But I, I want the straw to be able to be done loose. I mean, I can put it into a mixer wagon and you can take it out of that. So maybe we should go and get a mixer wagon and start doing a little bit of straw. And doing that with... At least just with the horses. Even if we don't do anything with the cows on it, we could at least just do it with the horses. All right, I'm going to put you into there. I'm going to stop you there, like that. And we're going to go... No, let's go to the plough to start with. We'll go to this tractor. We're going to head out to the big field out there. And we will tidy up just the little bit where we did that small... Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.